Dear soul, there is something deep and negative happening behind your back that is stopping someone from forgiving you and making things better between you. It's as if there is an unseen barrier, something or someone holding them back from clearing the air and finding peace. You may feel confused, wondering why things aren't getting resolved. To know the answers, hear this message till the very end. You need to hear this. The path to peace is still there, even if it feels blocked now. Stay true to your heart. Like this video and type triple one to know the truth. Dear soul, it seems like you are in a very painful situation, one where forgiveness feels just out of reach. There's this third party who seems to be standing between you and the person you are trying to forgive. Every time you make the effort to let go of the heart, this other person steps in and reminds them of all the ways you might have wronged them. They convince this person that you don't deserve forgiveness because you've been deceptive, that you never truly cared for them. And that keeps building up the wall between you and the person you are trying to reconcile with. The third party is like a constant shadow, feeding the bitterness and anger that's already there. They believe they are doing the right thing, thinking they are protecting the person from being hurt by you again. In their mind, you are the reason for the pain and they feel justified in saying so. They keep bringing up everything you've done, maybe even twisting things to make them worse than they really are. They are filling the person's ears with so many things that it's hard for them to see you in a different light. Like this video and subscribe to banish the negativity. Dear soul, forgiveness is supposed to be a bridge that connects two people after one has been hurt. But for this third person involved, the bridge can't be built. Every time there's a chance for healing, for reconnection, that chance gets torn down by the influence of this third party. It's as though this person is always whispering in their ear, reminding them of all the reasons why they shouldn't forgive you. The situation is incredibly frustrating, isn't it? You've been trying to make things right or at least find some peace. But this third party keeps reminding the person of all the wrongs they feel you've done. They don't see how you've changed, how you are trying to be better. All they hear is that you are still that same person, someone who deceived them and hurt them. This third party might even believe they are responsible for what happened between you and the other person. Maybe they think they were the cause of the conflict or maybe they were involved in some way. Either way, they are carrying their own guilt and anger and instead of dealing with it in a healthy way, they are turning it against you. In their mind, they are protecting the person they care about, but in reality, they are making it impossible for healing to happen. Like this video 
and type triple four to heal yourself. Dear soul, it's not just about forgiveness anymore. It's about control. The third party doesn't want to let go of the influence they have. They don't want to leave the person alone because they're afraid that if they do, the person might say things differently. They might see you differently. So, they keep filling their ears with stories, with accusations, with all the reasons why you shouldn't be forgiven. And the person you are trying to reach, they are stuck in the middle of all this. On one hand, they might want to forgive, to move on, but on the other hand, They've got this constant voice telling them not to, telling them that you don't deserve it. They might even believe that voice because it's been there for so long, always reminding them of the pain. It's a heartbreaking situation because forgiveness is supposed to bring healing, not more hurt. But right now, the other person isn't in a place to forgive and it's not entirely their fault. They are being influenced, maybe manipulated by this third party who won't let go of the past. And until that influence is gone, it's going to be incredibly difficult for any real healing to happen. Like this video and type triple four to attract love. Dear soul, the third party is driven by their own pain, their own need to feel like they are doing the right thing. But in the process, they are keeping both you and the person you care about from finding any peace. They are not just holding on to their anger, they are feeding it into the person you are trying to reconcile with. They don't want to let them see past the hurt to the possibility of forgiveness. In the end, the choice to forgive or not will always belong to the person who was hurt. But as long as they are someone else filling their ears with negativity, with all the reasons not to forgive, their choice becomes much, their choice becomes much harder. You can't force someone to forgive you, but you can hope that one day, they'll see through the influence of this third party and realize that holding on to anger only hurts them more. It's a long and painful process and there's no easy way. All you can do is continue to be sincere in your efforts. Continue to show that you've changed and hope that one day the person will be able to hear their own heart over the voice of the third party who's keeping them from forgiving. Like this video and type triple knowing to attract the positivity from the universe. A prayer, path of financial harmony, repeat after me. Lord, guide my heart to seek success with wisdom's light and not excess. Help me walk in steps so sure, through trials of wealth, keep my soul pure. I ask for strength to rise each day and manage well the funds I lay. Let not my efforts fade in vain, keep me from spending in useless gain. With love and patience, let me grow. In all I do, let your grace flow. Teach me not to set my aim, to paint with kindness, not for fame.
May I protect my time and space and guard my heart with your embrace. Show me how to say no when needed so that my soul may not feel cheated. In partnerships, let peace be found and keep my feet on steady ground. Though issues rise and bills appear, calm my spirit, cast out fear. Help me in love with joy and grace to cherish each moment in its place. Keep me grateful, full of light, for blessings small and days so bright. Like this video and type Amen to claim this prayer.